Hello friends, my name is Katie. Welcome to my channel. I have such exciting news to share with you guys today. I'm announcing single dad readathon bingo style. You guys know I love a readathon that is low key, low stakes, chill, you know, create your own challenge kind of vibes, right? We have so many readathons that are competitive, which I think and love, right? But I also want to have some readathons that are a little bit more laid back so we can kind of take it easy and not always feel that pressure, right? And thankfully, you guys, a lot of you have said how much you think of single dads when you think of me, which what a compliment. I truly appreciate that more than I can ever express. It's not what I thought I would be known for, but I'm not mad about it at all. So really this challenge, I was like, gosh, when should I do it? When, when should I announce it, right? And then I was like, you know what makes the most sense? Father's Day. When do we celebrate dad's Father's Day, which is in June. So I do know some of you are like, oh my gosh, Katie, the amazing readathon's happening in June. I don't know, that's totally fair. There is no pressure to join. I totally understand. You can use this bingo board whenever you want, whenever you want. It does not have to be just June. That's when I'll be doing it. That's when I'll be posting a whole bunch of things and stuff like that. But if you wanna use this just for life, just to read, go for it. There are no rules here. I'm not going to be upset. But if you're on team romance, like I am for the amazing readathon, then a lot of these are going to kind of fit, in my opinion. I feel like you'd be able to fit a few in and sneak some in, if that makes sense. Essentially, we're just going to go over the bingo board. Reality-wise, most of these are self-explanatory. Um, I will be doing trope videos to give you guys recommendations in case anybody needs some help. I also will be putting together a story graph challenge that you will find in the description below that also has recommendations. So plenty, plenty, plenty for you to choose from. And here's the thing. You guys can make this as hard as you want, okay? There are, I believe, 25 spaces. So you can go for a blackout board. You can just go for a single bingo. That is entirely up to you. You can use one book for just one prompt where you only want to do one prompt for every single book. Or you can do it where you use one book for multiple prompts. And trust me, one book could easily hit so many prompts. You could finish this board very, very quickly. So make this as difficult as you want it to be. Remember though, my number one rule when it comes to readathons is that it is always about having fun. If you're not having fun, please don't do that. Please don't. I don't want that to be this for you. So the first thing we have on the bingo board is Grumpy Sunshine, which is one of my absolute favorites. There are no rules here. The man can be grumpy. The female can be grumpy. It does not matter. There just has to be one person who is grumpy and one person who is sunshine. The next we have Indie Author, and this is very, very important to me. I love the idea of encouraging and supporting Indie Authors. So a lot of the books that you can find on KU are Indie Authors, but I will be putting together a whole list of books that have recommendations for indie authors. Then we have the spinner wheel prompt, which I'm very, very excited about. What I mean about spinner wheel prompt is I will create my own spinner wheel that has single dad romance books on there that you are welcome to use. And I will put them in the description below, but you are welcome to just make a spinner wheel of books that you have on your TBR that are single dad um, romances. Spin the wheel and whatever it lands on, that's what you read for that spot right there. Then we have backlog. This means if you have a book that's been on your TBR that has a single dad in it, it counts. Then we have cowboy. You guys know. You guys know when I think single dad cowboy romance, I hope you already know the answer to this and it is Heartless by Elsie Silver. So if you want my recommendation for cowboy, there it is. But I will find more. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. There will be a recommendation video, I promise. Then starting the second row, we have new release. So this is up to you. Anything released here in 2024, you're good to go. Then we have nanny and you guys know this single dad nanny romance. It's kind of like bread and butter, peanut butter and jelly. Then we have read a book that's over 350 pages. It can be a little tricky with romance books because not all of them are chunkers and we, we we don't always necessarily want them to be chonkers, but we will find some. One of my favorite tropes of all time, second chance romance and a single dad, say less. Then we have Buddy Read. And what's fun is there's two special things about Buddy Read. So one, you get that Buddy Read space. So you can Buddy Read in the Discord. There will be a area where you can say what book you're reading and see if anyone wants to read that with you to find a Buddy Read. But also there's going to be a group Buddy Read. Um, and that is going to be Love Unwritten by Lauren Asher. It is the second book in a series, but I believe they are interconnected standalone, so you don't have to read them in order. I believe it's also going to be on KU. And the reason this is so exciting is because I believe Neva, Kelsey, and I are going to actually have all day reading sprints. Um, I believe it's going to be on the 19th of June. And you guys can come join and hang out with us. If you want to use that as a buddy read, you absolutely can. But... 
if you've already done the buddy read and you also want to read love unwritten but let's say there's one prompt on the board that has just been giving you trouble you just cannot figure it out you don't know what to read for that trope what you can do is you can take the love unwritten buddy read if you read it with us and you can replace that with any single space on this board so let's say you're not into nanny romances goodbye nanny hello love unwritten and you can just cover it up right there if that makes sense. Then starting on the third row we have opposites attract and this again it can very easily be grumpy sunshine things like that they are very opposite it can be he's from the city she's from the small town vice versa one's a billionaire one is poor um anything like that where it's just they are the complete opposite of each other. Then we have the color wheel and what the color wheel is is you will put a wheel with different colors on it and whatever color it lands on you need to read a book with that cover. Then we have a free space feel free to use whatever a uh, single dad book you'd like in this space. Then we have small town which again just means that this book will take place in a small town. Then we have a friend recommendation and you can be really really chillax with this. You can ask somebody in the discord, you can ask me, you can ask social media, a friend is however you define it. Then going down into the fourth row, we have fake dating, which just means that in some capacity, it is a fake relationship. So whether they're fake engaged, fake dating, like fake boyfriend, girlfriend, or whether it's a marriage of convenience, that's all fake. Then we have host recommendation. That's me. I will be putting up a whole video, but most of you guys already know for the most part, which books I am stinking obsessed with. So it will be a surprise to nobody, but keep an eye out for that video. Then we have forced proximity. This just means that the two characters for some reason are being put together. So like whether or not they have to share like a room, they have to be roommates for some reason, like, you know, like her trailer breaks down or it's not safe. So he's like, oh, you should stay with me. That's where they're, the author is forcing these two characters to be close together. Does that make sense? Then we have sports. And that just means that somewhere in the book, there should be sports. Usually this means that the male main character or female character is somebody who plays professional sports. Then we have new to you author. And again, this is just about encouraging you to try somebody new, give a book a chance that you might not have picked up before. Then we have suspense. I love romantic suspense. One of my favorite authors who has many, many single dad romances is Catherine Cowles and her books are available on KU. Then we have poll pick. And again, you can do this in Instagram, in Discord. Um, and what you will do is you will just put a poll up that have to do with different single dad romances. Whichever book wins is the book that you read. Up next, we have dislike to like. Some people call this enemies to lovers. It really depends on you and your preference, but essentially it just means that for some reason they don't like each other. They're not friends. They did not start off on the right foot. They despise each other, right? They wish they would just not run into each other, but dot, 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 dot. One thing leads to another and they're not seeming too bad. Then we have popular book. Again, it could be a book that you've heard a lot of people talk about, a lot of people recommend, a book you see all the time on social media. This is really defined by you. And the last book that we have is to read a book under 200 pages. This might be tricky. I think I know a few. So this is a challenge for me as well, and I'm very, very excited for it. Those are the 25 prompts that we have for this challenge. I hope that you'll join. I hope that you have so much fun. Reading these books has been such a joy for me. I didn't realize how much I enjoyed the single dad trope. I'm really, really excited to share this with you guys. I am looking forward to a month full of fun and a month full of dads. If you've made it this far, you guys, thank you so much. Comment below, what single dad romance novel are you most excited about giving a try? And as always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.